There are some incredibly powerful forces now around the world beginning to make moves, starting to put plans into action. They have been paying attention very, very closely to the events in Washington, D.C., and recently what they have seen has disturbed them to the point where they can no longer sit idly by and just make political jokes like the vast majority of Americans have been doing. Very recently, the President of the United States sat down with a man named George Stephanopoulos, and what he said should terrify everyone of any political stripe anywhere. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are like, Florida Maki, he's rambling, bumbling old man. Some of the things he says, you know, they're kind of, well, you just have to forgive it because he's old. No, what he said is something that is beyond forgiveness and beyond something that you could attribute to just mere age. They're watching this man very, very closely. And these very ancient societies from the other side of the globe know that it is much better to preemptively get rid of a problem before it festers and becomes something you can't deal with. And that's going to be their logic for what they do. Believe me, what's coming is something that the vast majority of Americans are not ready for. Battlefield of the mind stuff, though. I'm sure a lot of people out there are like, Florida Maki, he's just a bumbling old man. Why are you so scared? Trust me when I show you what the man has said. You will take notice. So many things get passed by in the media so quickly. We have a new news cycle every so many hours, and people, they forget. They don't take notes, and they don't put it all together. If you'd like to join us for Battlefield of the Mind style videos, we would love to have you at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel where it's only one U.S. dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year. If you can imagine that these days, less than a dollar a month for a year to sit and peruse hundreds of videos going back years and years and years back to a time when the vast majority of Americans can't even remember 2017, 18, what was going on then. It doesn't seem like it's very long ago on a calendar, but in reality, it might as well be 100 years ago. Now, some have said Florida Maquis. We are tired of your clickbait thumbnails. They're so far over the top, and the titles aren't accurate. They're accurate. They just haven't come to pass yet. And the way the algorithm works, when they do come to pass, people are going to go, hey, do you remember when Florida Maquis typed that? That happened. That happened. This, this happened many times. Made this allegation in this picture about this man expressing a willingness in an unguarded moment, a couple of them actually, to use F-15s and nuclear weapons to put down any dissent from folks who might be thinking that they were a match for the government because they had AR-15s. Trump voters in the red states threat democracy. We had no other choice. We tried to warn them, and that's true, they did. Now, I'd like to share a quote from you, pardon me, with you, from a very wise Episcopalian preacher. Quote, Jesus was not killed by atheism and anarchy. He was brought down by law and order, allied with religion, which is always a deadly mix. Beware those who claim to, now pay attention here, this is important. This is the Biden connection. Beware those who claim to know the mind of God and who are prepared to use force, if necessary, to make others conform. Beware those who cannot tell God's will from their own. I'm going to repeat that. Beware those who cannot tell God's will from their own. Temple police are always a bad sign. When chaplains start wearing guns and hanging out at the sheriff's office, watch out. Someone is about to have, and once again, pay attention to this, no king but Caesar. There are three things in this quote that are prophetic to what's going on in the world right now. Those who claim to know the mind of God, prepare to use force if necessary to make others conform, and no king but Caesar. Now, for those of you who are unaware, 
the whole nuclear weapons thing and what I was referring to. Let's talk about prepared to use force to make others conform. Biden, quote, Joe Biden, quote, and he said this, a version of this multiple times. I believe four different times, actually. Those who say the blood of patriots, you know, and all this stuff about how we're going to have to move against the government, quote, if you think you need to have weapons to take on the government, you need F-15s and maybe some nuclear weapons. This is a veiled threat saying, come at me, bro. It's a veiled threat saying, come at me, bro. Bring your, F- bring your AR-15s. We'll answer it with nuclear weapons, the U.S. Navy, and nu- and F-15s. Now, but Biden, they're Democrats. They don't believe God. 6 July, 2024, 2039 hours. Biden says he'll only listen to, quote, Lord Almighty. Only God in person can convince Joe Biden he cannot beat Donald Trump, the U.S. president has said. Let's get right down to the exact quote so we don't waste any more of your time. Quote, this is Joe Biden speaking to George Stephanopoulos. Quote, I convinced myself, I convinced myself, I convinced myself of two things. I'm the most qualified person to beat him, speaking of Donald Trump, and I know how to get things done. Asked whether anyone could convince him otherwise, Biden said that only God might have enough authority to do so. Now, for those of you who want the quote, he was asked, it's not going to happen, he said, when asked asked to leave the race. If the Lord Almighty came down and said, Joe, get out of the race, I'd get out of the race, he said, but the Lord Almighty is not coming down. He said, quote, the Lord Almighty's not coming down. Shall we return to the quote from the Episcopalian preacher? Beware those who claim to know the mind of God and who prepared to use force. Claim to know the mind of God or confuse the mind of God with their own will. Now, it gets even better. In that same interview, not only am I campaigning, but I'm running the world. And that's not hyperbole. So we've got the trifecta now. Someone is about to have no king but Caesar. Biden now claims to run the world. Biden claims that God might have the authority to remove him. Biden claims God's not coming down, and it would take an act of God to remove him from power. Not a vote, not your opinion, an act of God. Because he's the one, he is convinced, that is, I guess, divinely appointed to be the leader. Take notes, folks. Take very close notes to what this man is saying. Only listen to God, but God's going to tell him what he wants to hear. People sit and make fun of this guy because they think he's cognitively impaired. He's possessed is what he is. This is another thumbnail that people said were, they thought, oh, it's over the top. You think now it would be beyond this man who is now clearly cognitively impaired to say, you know what? We cannot risk, we cannot risk the media, the irresponsible media, influencing the direction of democracy the direction of the world, and I'm running the world. I'm not saying that Joe Biden said that. Joe Biden said that. Joe Biden said he's running the world. What do you think these people take from that? That a man believes he's running the world. That a man believes he's above God. God might have the authority to remove him from power. A man who has stated F-15s and nuclear weapons are not off the table to put down a quote-unquote domestic insurrection. You still think I'm kidding? See, this was just the beginning. The real root of this, the real root of this was a level of narcissism that is evil beyond anybody's real understanding. While you've been focused, the vast majority of people, 
have been focused on a non-threat. Florida Marquis, haven't you seen the crime reports? Infinitesimally small compared to the alleged amount of people that have come here. The vast majority, all Christians. This should ter terrify everyone. See, they convinced you of this, didn't they? They convinced you, and I'm speaking largely to Democrats here, largely to liberals, largely to people who say, well, Florida Maki, you can't be echoing the president's false claim that there were, there is so much evidence out there of what happened in 2020 being something so ridiculous that it defies, it defies logic. Even Elon Musk has stepped up and said, America doesn't have a president. That this guy is uh, just a figurehead. Well, you see, yes and no. Yes and no. You see, there's only one thing worse than a coward. And that's a coward with power. And that is where we're at right now. This is not a joke. See, to Americans, this is a joke. To Americans, this is a joke. It's a big, ah, ah, oh, look at the old man tripping over himself and stumbling over his words, and we get to pat ourselves on the back for being right about this for the last three and three and a half years. Not to these people. They are, uh, they are not laughing. See, the missiles aren't pointed at you. And I should say us, Americans. The missiles are pointed elsewhere. There aren't, there aren't drone strikes happening in Tennessee. There are deadly drone strikes, however, happening all over the Middle East and all over the world in the name of Washington, D.C. And the man who is in charge, the man who is in charge right now, has threatened F-15s and nukes on his own people, and let's go right down the list. Believes that only God can remove him from power. Only God would, would be the authority he would listen to. To step down, not doctors. You see, this guy said, uh, where is it here? Everything I do is a cognitive desk. He talks about all of these doctors that are following him around. Biden said he has medical doctors trailing me everywhere I go. Why, Mr. Biden? You just said, you just said the only voice you would listen to to step down is God Almighty and God's not coming. If that's, but facts first, facts first, here's the quote. It's not going to happen, quote unquote. He said, dismissed repeated questions about what would compel him to leave the race. Quote of President Joe Biden, if the Lord Almighty came down and said, quote, Joe, get out of the race, I'd get out of the race, he said. But once again, quoting Joe Biden, the Lord Almighty is not coming down. So not only do you claim Joe Biden to know the mind of God, it would be the only thing you would listen to. So I ask you again, why do you have the doctors following you around? Nothing, there's, nothing they say is going to change anything, right? According to you, according to your own words. I have an ongoing assessment of what I'm doing. They don't hesitate to tell me if something is wrong. Do you believe them? Do you believe them, Joe? Quote, I have a cognitive test every single day. Every day I have that test. Not only am I campaigning, but I'm running the world, and that's not hyperbole. You see, there's a difference between a test, Joe, and what you do. The test is to make sure that you don't fuck up in a way that kills people. That's not a test. Your job is not a test. Your job is not a test. Our military puts soldiers through training. And at the end of training, there are tests. So that when they get out and actually do their job, they don't have to continually test them. Your job is not a test, Mr. Biden. Your job is a job. This should be the... These quotes alone should remove the man. These quotes alone should be grounds for impeachment, grounds for 25th Amendment, 
grounds for anything the Constitution provides, no matter who is left. I don't think even Kamala Harris herself would have the hubris to say that I am the answer to all things. Me. I'm the only one qualified. I'm running the world. I'm the one in charge. God and I might have a discussion about it, but in the end, I'm the final authority. That's the real danger. But do you hear this take anywhere in the media? Do you hear this take anywhere in the media? No. Why? Battlefield of the mind. I did hear Glenn Beck say, the question shouldn't be about the election. It should be about how we get this guy away from the nuclear football. I agree. The nuclear football and many, many, many other things. Let's get him away from the F-15s, get him away from the nukes, get him away from any level of power whatsoever. Once again, I'll leave it there. And you can fact check me all you want. And you can complain about the thumbnails all you want. But that's what the nuclear football does. This man and his group of people that are in charge have stated multiple times that they see the greatest threat to the country, not externally, but their political opponents inside the country. And they would use that as an excuse. Mark my words, given this man's cognitive state right now, given this man's cognitive state right now, could, would you put it past him based on what he has said? Based on his own words, not my allegations, not theories, not uh, past leaders, none of this. His own recent statements. If anybody else said these things, here in Florida, here in Florida, I would bet you a dollar to a donut that if a police officer pulled over someone talking like this, that he could very easily have the, the individual Baker acted, meaning taken into custody, put into psychiatric, psychiatric observation, pardon me, against their own will for up to 72 hours, pending the results of an examination. I think that's where we're at. We need to install some type of a Baker Act. Um, I believe in California it's called Prop 57, Prop 58, something like that, where there is a, uh, a mechanism where if someone verbally demonstrates they could be a danger to themselves or to others, you don't need a warrant. You don't need a warrant. You can put them in a psych facility pending examination. What do you guys think? God bless all of you who've joined us at Patreon. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. Humbly, it is right now the uh, thing that is keeping things going. It's huge. The folks that have stepped up at just even the $1 level, in numbers, it makes a difference. In numbers, it makes a difference. Trust me. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time.